used to have questions like, oh, there's Levin on rugby, and to now where it's good luck, boys, do us proud, come back with another trophy. Yeah, commitment to the breakdown, commitment to each other, commitment to the game. The work rate is strong. We support each other, we run over to that person who made a mistake, and we say, don't worry about it, okay? And if you made that mistake, own it. It's my fault, I'll make it up for you. Domestically, Lebanon rugby is growing. When we first started, it was one team dominating a league, and now it's a very even playing field with three or four teams competing every season. Younger players coming through the ranks, uh, the league has become a lot more competitive. Um, our main focus right now as a federation is uh, working with schools to try and get the next generation of rugby players in, to really give them the opportunity to get involved in the sport, to give them the chance to play for clubs and later on play for their country. So four years ago, uh, Lebanon Rugby won the first ARC Championship, which is the Asian Rugby Championship in their division. Um, Lebanon Rugby went three years unbeaten. Lebanon has hosted the ARC. We hosted it in 2015. Uh, we played the games at Fouad Shab Stadium in Junior, and we were successful with that. And we had a couple of thousand people come to our final and cheer us on. competition we have uh, is in 2017 in Uzbekistan. We're looking to get back on winning ways again and really push Lebanon rugby forward again. One of our most successful parts of Lebanon rugby is our sevens program. Our sevens national team have been around the world from 2010 into the World Cup universities in, in Porto, the 2012 World Cup universities championship in, uh, in Brive in France to the Asian Games in Korea, to a, a number of um, tournaments around the Middle East and in North Africa. With sevens being in the, an Olympic sport now, um, like most countries around the world, they're trying to really push sevens rugby in schools and internationally and we're no different we we want to push sevens rugby uh, as well as 15s rugby we feel that you know lebanon rugby should be on the on the world map like every other country the only way we can do that is having a bigger pool of players from around the world the only way we can do have a bigger pool of players and getting the best side into these tournaments is having the right people supporting us and sponsoring us so these people can travel around the world uh, and not worry about the cost of their flight playing for their country. Uh, I think the, the one thing that we can count on is that we've got a lot of enthusiastic people around us that's willing to help and put in extra effort to try and improve Lebanon rugby.